straight off the rip, it's Vieira. It's a legend on the second spin. Give us Vieira, we can save our coins. English League, give us Vieira. Vieira, Vieira, Vieira. What's the crack lads? Welcome in to another video and we are doing the deepest of deep dives on the main man today which is Patrick Vieira. So we did actually spin for him. I showed you there at the start of the episode we spun. We got him in two packs, so two 900 packs. Listen, the big question is, right, is Patrick Vieira meta? Is he one of the best players in the game? And I would say yes, I definitely think he is. But it's got a lot to do with where the game has gone at the moment, right? So firstly, let's take a look at some of the stuff that make this guy a beast, right? We have him down as a destroyer. He's got a good weight, good height, and good physical contact. He's also got fairly decent tight possession. And because of his build, and because of how tall he is, and, you know, he literally has legs everywhere, man. He's just like an octopus in midfield. He's able to block passing lanes. These are the two main key areas we want to focus on. Yes, he can pass, he can dribble, all that. But just basic. This is where his real strength lies, right? And obviously when you have a player this physical, this strong, this unique on the ball and off the ball, he's, he is going to be a monster, right? And he is going to be one of the best players in the game. Now, one weakness I will say of Patrick Vieira straight off is that he does not have the best player skills. You definitely need to put a little bit of time into that. There is player skills there. He doesn't have blocker and he doesn't have one touch pass, which are a necessity at the very minimum with this card if you want him as your main meta DMF slash CMF, right? So we can actually build Vieira quite effectively as a proper run and gun, win the ball back and start an attack, kind of like a box to box. He's down as a destroyer, but you can see here that the player IDs, listen man, don't let people overcomplicate it for you, right? We're talking about player play styles and stuff like that, right? Yes, they do have an impact, but at the end of the day, man, connection depends on a lot of things, right? You can still shoot with Vieira, you can still pass with Vieira, but he is down as a destroyer, right? So what this means is he's going to be a tenacious battler who keeps opposition attacks at bay through hard tackling and pressing, okay? Now, I've made this little graph, right? We're gone very scientific. We'll get to this at the end as well. But it's a mixture of player stats and skills, play style and physique, but the most important, in my opinion, is the player ID and positioning. His weight, his height, how he actually moves on the pitch, and how his animations kick in and don't kick in. Right, now a few people have asked me this question about playing two destroyers, or two box to box, or two anchormen. The, the thing I would say is sometimes the play styles can actually conflict with each other. It's not a huge deal if you manually move and manually position a few of the players around. But I would always have one defensive midfielder and one attacking midfielder. And I'm not talking about an AMF. I'm talking about two CMFs or two DMFs. One to bring the ball forward and one to win, win the ball at the back or to act as a third CB. Now you can still defend with both of these. Vieira can still have really high defensive skills. We will also probably in this system throw defensive on our anchorman or else on our main defensive dmf or our main defensive center midfielder and also deep line but you can as equally put that on patrick vieira as casemiro within this system right again a lot of people overcomplicate this man and they talk about play styles and they talk about this things and that things and at the end of the day e-football is a very simple game if you can get the ball past midfield and into your forwards right you don't need to think too much about it it's more about positioning, stats, play styles, all mixed in together, right? So if you're playing a very, very narrow formation like this, you can have a double pivot in midfield where you've got both complete all-rounders. Casemiro can still pass the ball. He's not going to dribble the ball forward, but that's where you have Carlos or Messi or else Ribery roaming out or else Tommy Yasu roaming up a little bit as well. It's very dependent on how you're going to be setting up your system. But for me, a double pivot DMF is probably the way to go with Vieira, or else to have him as a little bit more attacking, even though he's going to be a defensively dominant CB CMF or DMF, right? Now, a couple of the, the stuff we want to look at here is his skill training and what we're going to be doing with this. Now, right, if you've missed how to actually give a specific skill to a specific player, even though it is still a bit of a random one, I would definitely try and check out that video. I'll leave a link in the description. And I would add these skills at a bare minimum, right? We are going to be building up Vieira as our main defensive midfielder, right? So he's going to have blocker, area superiority, and then one touch pass. He also, when we train him up here, he does take about, what, over 100,000 trainer XP. So if you are spinning or you have spun for him, you haven't trained him up yet. I would say that Vieira, if you don't want to overcomplicate it too much... Just use Vieira, right, even though he's down as a destroyer, use him as a defensive kind of box-to-box -box midfielder. 
the minute you get the ball back with Vieira, just get rid of it. That's kind of where his strength lies. As I said, he's like an octopus with loads of different legs or arms going around the place. We're going to be training him up here. We're going to be looking at this build, right? We're going to give two variations to this build, but they're kind of the same. Effectively, they are both the same. 68 progression points, and we're going to focus on the build here. I will have the build up on at the end of the video as well. You can copy it here. Um, but essentially, what we're going to try and do here with Vieira is when you have a midfield, right? The two objectives of getting the ball in midfield. And as I said, some people will overcomplicate it and say like, oh, this run and AI and play style and this and mixture of this and mixture of that. At the end of the day, man, you want one goal and one goal only from your midfielders. You're not going to be scoring goals from midfield. Yeah, you can score some long range bangers, but that's not where the game is at at the moment, right? It's all about winning the ball back, blocking passing lanes, disrupting the flow of your opponent, stopping counter attacks, and then going forward with the ball getting the ball back and just giving it to your to your main creative players, whether that's an AMF, a left or a right midfielder, or you're playing three central strikers up front, you know, two CFs and two SS, right? So as you work through that build there, we're going to be left with an absolute dominant defensive destroyer, the triple D as I like to call Vieira, dominant defensive destroyer, absolutely insane player. We're going to have loads of clips here, and we're also going to give you a comparison, which a lot of people have been asking me for, to make this the most thorough look at Vieira yet. As I said, I played it in my live stream. You've got everything that you could possibly want there with the max booster. 99 tackle, 95 aggression, 80 speed, 90 physical contact, 92 stamina. And of course, with this build, we have thrown on blocker for the skill trainers as well. Now, if you, do, if you want to make him a little bit more, I would say there's two ways you can do it, right? You can either have a little bit more passing and dribbling um, and less dexterity, or else you can go fully fully with the aerial strength and the defending, right? But they're both exactly the same builds, except one or two little differences which you can see there. But don't worry, we'll get to that in a second after the clips. But essentially all we've done in this build is take the tackling off by one, so defense off by one, and made him a little bit more speedier with the acceleration. And I'm going to show you why you should try this build, right? With a couple of really key clips that we'll get into, right? So when we are in the pitch here, as I said, this is all that you want your midfielders to do, right? Get the ball back, get rid of it. Slide tackles, that's manual defending, but it's all about positioning. Look where Vieira is positioned. He's pretty much a center back with that destroyer kind of deep line in this individual instructions. We're not doing any fancy, any fancy stuff with Vieira. We're not doing anything extraordinary with him. He's literally a disruptor. The minute the ball comes into his area, his force field, he is literally just going to want to dominate and get the ball back. Again, you see the position in here. I mean, I am literally just trying to block the passing lane, but he's just so long, he's so lanky, and he's so strong compared to other players. Now, people will ask me about the big time uh, Vieira. Some people didn't spin for this booster Vieira because they have the big time. Both are box, or one is box to box, the other is destroyer. I would say that the guy on the right, okay, the big time Vieira on the right, is going to be more attacking option, okay? He's going to be a more attacking option to carry the ball forward. Whereas this booster one, I think his real strength lies, at least for me, even though he's a complete center midfielder or DMF, yes, he can do it all. His real strength lies in the clips that you're seeing on screen here. Look at the ground he eats up here, man. It's like unbelievable. He just switches gears, puts the turbo on, and those big long strides absolutely eats the space, right? So when you are looking at this big time versus booster, you're going to see that defensively, with 35 levels compared to 30, destroyer compared to box to box, that mixture of height, weight, and of course those defensive stats, that is where I think the key to this card really lies, right? And again, you see here, he just absolutely like dominates and just like stops a goal from going in. A certain goal from going in doesn't give away a penalty. Yes, it's good defending, obviously, but it comes back to this graph that we have done. Now, I'm going to do a very scientific video here, right? Because a lot of people ask me about certain things and some people overcomplicate them and they think too deeply about it because at the end of the day, right, the main thing in this game, in my opinion, is the player ID and the positioning. Yes, stats have a big impact on it, player skills, they all add up to the same thing. Of course they do, play style and physique and how the players move, but the player ID is kind of a combination of all of that stuff and then the positioning of the player, position of what you're expecting from that player is a massive part of the game that people don't understand, right? Or some newcomers don't understand. So yeah, for Vieira lads, he is an absolute beast. That is an ultimate, ultimate build and review of Vieira and breakdown. Let me know if there's anything else you guys wanna know. But if you want a more scientific kind of breakdown, I'm gonna be doing a play style video as well. Because as I said, sometimes you just have to strip it back to the bare essentials and say, what works in the game? 
what actually cutting through everything for the average player what you know what actually works in the game you want your midfielders to either win the ball back or get rid of the ball run the ball forward or chase the ball back that's kind of what you want your midfielders to do right so i will be back don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. A bit of a deep dive into Vieira. I know a lot of people were requesting it. I wasn't planning on doing it, but a lot of people were asking because they did spin for him. Until next time, lads, don't forget to like and subscribe, as I said. And uh, let me know if you spun for Vieira. Peace.